Today we are here in a place that once used to be a prison. Yeah. Crazy place. I'm Roberta. And I'm Duke. And after two years bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life, it's finally time to start exploring. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for a new episode. There's something wrong going on. Fernando just came to our boat and he said there is a squid on our deck. I, I can't believe it. No way. We got a squid without going fishing. Unbelievable. So now we're gonna go... Oh. Drop the water. Drop the water. We're gonna go to shore. prepared for a trek it's actually a pretty easy one I could come barefoot and it's all good I was searching about this place and when Brazil was discovered Indians used to live here and then the Portuguese came and create a prison <laughs> let's go around let's go to the beach and see if we can find the prison Capybara's pool. Shit happens all the time. <laughs> Literally. I have seen no animals until now. Are they hiding from us? No, we're just on the beach. We need to go inside the trail and then we might find some. Kama. Uh, Kama. Say ah. I'm. Ah. <laughs> Entire crew today. So let's talk about Ancheta Island. It's located just 600 meters from the mainland and it's quite a big land. It's the second one in the state of Sao Paulo and it's the same size as 800 soccer fields. The island has seven beaches located on its 17 kilometers of shore and there are a lot of hiking trails. Let's talk a little bit about story now. The island was inhabited by Indians. In 1800, a detachment of the Portuguese army was installed to guarantee the possession of the land. In 1908, a correctional colony was built. In 1952, there was the Great Scape. In 1955, the place was deactivated, and now it's a touristic place inside a protected park with a lot of story. There is a lot of curious facts here. And then said that he, he read that a uh, huge squid can, can measure like 17 meters. 17. 17 meters. That's just crazy. How many people you think would fit on this room? Because it seems like this was a big bedroom and that was a bathroom, I guess. So probably like a lot of people here, like I don't know, I would say like 50 people easily. Huh. Solar farm. <laughs> Supposed to be the lumber. I guess here was the kitchen. It's 
crazy to imagine a lot of people living here, sharing this space. It's a pity that you can't smell because the smell here is so good. It's funny that we watched last night a episode from Delos, SV Delos, and they came to the same island I think like four years ago and they saw so many different animals. We didn't see any. A huge cricket. Finally find a bug at least. It's not a, an animal, but it's like a kind of an animal. It's a huge one actually. Finally an animal. Boys, there is a monkey down. there. Right there. Can you see? Can you spot the little one? They say that we have this old beard <laughs> when the place is clean, the air is pure. You wanna take it home? I wish I could. It's huge. It's one of my favorite trees. Now the crew is complete. Feeling better? Oh, so so. I got too much sun yesterday, so I have a little bit of a headache. It's gonna get better because we need to move today. We need to go back to the morning bowl. We will explain that later. But before that, let's have a park with our neighbors. Good. Yeah, it's funny how when you live on a boat and you have neighbors, every single meal becomes an event. I don't even remember the last time that we made a decision of what we were going to eat by ourselves. We are always, always on a group discussion and, as Brazilians, a lot of times we have barbecues. So we have good and bad news. Bad news, we need to go back to Saco da Ribeiro. Where we were before, but the good news is... Tomorrow, North sails are coming. To pick up our sails because we're going to cut the sails and finally we're going to have a sail that we can actually trim because right now the sail is too long and the lifting line that holds the boom in place needs to be tight otherwise the boom will hit the arch and in order to not hit the arch we need to cut the sail. It's going to make sense. All of that just to explain we need to go back to Saco da Ribeiro but for a good reason. <laughs> Of course, we raise the main and the wind dies, <laughs> as usual. As usual. Murphy's thought. Yeah, it is what it is. We have no wind. We're going to leave the main up just in case the wind decides to come back. I doubt. It's 
not just the main sail that we need to take out. Yeah, the big genoa is hitting the spreader and there's a small mark already on the sail, so we want to do just a small reinforcement, just to guarantee we won't rip the sail. You know, as we're gonna send the main sail, why not send both? Are you ready to put the genoa down? I have no idea how we would do that on big seas. This deck is so much confusing. It's, it just has so many things. There is no straight area to fold the sail. Usually in a boat, main, it's like more wide on the sides. I don't know. Here it's just like all like with corners and it's not flat and it's just really tricky to do that. But somehow we did it. Now. First one, then ready the to go. Seat. Not the main save. That's gonna be tricky also. Good morning! Today is Duca's birthday. What? Where are you? Is it my birthday today? Old boy. I'm <laughs> getting really old. I have 19 in each leg. <laughs> that means 38. Okay, mm -hmm. so now it's time to reveal your birthday gift. Surprise, surprise. I'm gonna throw me on the water. What's, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> I'm talking with our friends and we are going to spend a day in another beach with what? our friends in another boat. Which boat? We are going to have barbecue and everything. Seriously? Yeah. Which boat? Happy birthday. Where is the boat? My, but I like oil. Around here. But I, I like oil. We don't have sails. Oh, we don't have sails. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go then. It's a new experience, a new boat. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Where is the boat now? Which one? We're still the gonna Zezio. eat. The Zezio? Yeah! Happy <laughs> birthday! Thanks a lot, man. Well, even though it's my birthday today, Hopper is the one that gets the present, the gift. It's time for a trim. I've been postponing for a while, but it's way too hot today, and I think a trim will make the day a little bit better. And also, Hobera said, can you please trim, it's too long. I'm like, okay, of course I can do that for you. That's one thing I like about living on a boat, is that anytime you need to trim, you can make a mess, you're just on the water. That's pretty good. That's it. The good thing is that I can go for a drive. No. That's so much better. I think now we can start the celebration. Finally, after 16 years, Hobera finally managed to surprise me with my birthday. Yeah, she always tries, but I always actually know what's gonna happen. And this time, for real, I had no idea. And this was really special because she managed even to bake a cake and cook some Brazilian candy and I had no idea. This, even though it might seem like a small party, three friends, Hobera and me, this was such a special day. I'm not sure if I told you that already, but Ale is a friend that we met actually on the boat yard three years ago. We just met in a barbecue, I mean, we could just lose contact really easy, but somehow we got connected and we felt really, really connected and we always kept in contact. Sometimes he even called me just to show him playing a song that he's learning on the guitar. And that's just so, so awesome. And for three years, I always told him, one day we're gonna finish this boat and we're gonna stop by your boat and we're gonna hang out for a while. And after three years this finally happened. The past month was just so so awesome to be able to anytime just stop by his boat, he would stop by our boat and we had a great time and for sure we're gonna miss Ale. Ale, you are just so awesome and you're invited to come visit us or not any any time you want. And we hope to see you soon my friend. <laughs> let's interview one of the prisoners here. Oh, we found a prisoner. Yeah. Let, let's let's see what he says about this prison. He, does he like this place? Do you like living here? Yeah, it's calm. <laughs> it's a nice place. I like your house. Beautiful. We try our, our best. <laughs> yeah. I'll run the camera. <laughs> 